Well, hello, you guys, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. How you doing on this hot, hot day? It's very steamy here in New England. Hope you're good. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yes, we are having a new moon in Cancer. Um, it's opposition to Saturn. Um, it happened on July 20th, so if you're watching this after, it still you know lingers for a couple of days. But that can be about triggering events, events that trigger your emotions to come out and that shows you what you need to work on. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Um, uh, feel free to swap around the characters in this reading. As, also, as always, I could be talking to a cross-watcher, so just keep that in mind. If you're drawn here by the title of this video, because you know we're everything, right? Because your sun, moon, rising, and Venus are different signs, or maybe I I definitely have come across a lot of triple Virgos, a lot of triple Scorpios and stuff. Um, but be that as it may, <laughs> one of my favorite sayings, be that as it may, um, you're made up of a lot of different energies, so different things can be triggered at different points in your life, okay? Um, feel free, like I said, I already said that. Okay, so yes, some of you have been asking about the tarot class. Yes, we are doing the master class uh, this summer. There's another um, another episode, another live class happening Tuesday night, July 21st. So if you want to jump on, you can do that. Also, the uh, self-paced comprehensive tarot class is in the description box. If you want to do that, you can do that. You can do both. All right. If you really want to learn how to read tarot from me, we're, tomorrow night we're going to be talking about, I'm, I'm recording this on Monday. Tomorrow night we're going to be talking about, um, what are we going to be talking about tomorrow night? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, tomorrow night we're going to be talking about telling stories and being in, <laughs> and how to, how to, uh, you know, intuitively create the, the storylines that flow from the cards that come out, okay, based on intention, based on, I'll share all of that stuff with you in the class, okay? I saw this in the beginning, orphaned, I had a feeling that one was going to come out, milk and honey, blessed. Uh, you could not have come to this good place that you're going to be, if you're not there now, you're going to be in a really good place. Milk and honey, blessed. If you're there now, you're there now. Awesome. You could not have been here unless this happened. Okay? Unless somebody left your life. And somebody left you behind. That's who this reading is for. So if that, um, if that just happened, or if that's happening right now, or you're, you're like, oh, it's coming, um, just know that that person has to leave your life. You might be holding on to someone too tight. It feels bad when they leave, right? Um, but it really couldn't, nothing, this milk and honey, this blessed feeling, just know that at some point in the future, you're going to look back and go, woo, that was a good thing. Good thing that happened. Or good thing that didn't happen, right? Good thing that relation di relationship didn't really turn out to be much, even though it was devastating when that person decided to walk away. Good thing. Good thing. So just know that that's what's coming, okay? Um, justice underneath. Seeing the truth. Could be a Libra or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person is, um, you might be uh, kind of in the place of wanting vengeance or something, wanting to see this person get theirs. Okay, you could be in that place. Nine of Cups, Chariot. Hey, there you are, Chariot, High Priestess. This is, uh, wow, yes indeed, Aries. Page of Pentacles, King of Swords. They could be dealing with an uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, starting a new relationship, and you could be like, why did they get a relationship? Death, transformation, they're all y'all are here. Scorpio, three of swords, seven of cups. Why do they get a relationship and I am having to do this work? 
why <laughs> first of all you only see really yourself like you don't know i mean other people can tell you like oh yeah i'm going through a bad time but you don't really feel it you guys might feel it you water signs you might feel it tremendously empathic tremendously open to other people's dynamic and energies especially in this um new moon in cancer where things are coming out of you feeling even for you guys which is like saying something because you guys really have the ability to um, read and understand your feelings. Really deep stuff here. Okay, so I feel like you did get what you wanted, even though this did suck, okay? Um, the end of a relationship, death, with an Aries, Leo, Sag. You did get what you wanted, okay? Even though you might only say that to yourself, right? Only say that to yourself. This might be a time of you really going inward and looking at what you want for the future now. But this person is still on your radar here. Even though it's done, Scorpio, even though it's done, this Aries, and I'm getting a fire sign with an air sign. I feel like this fire sign has an air sign person and they're starting something new. It could look like, you know, business, okay? The new relationship they're having could look like business, okay? This person could be dealing with a lawyer or a banker or somebody who is very successful. Okay, the Eight of Swords here. Sun. I feel like this person, first of all, I feel like this person is, is not really showing you any joy or happiness around this. It's not like they're gloating about it or flaunting it in any way. Um, but I do feel like they're hiding the fact that this is making them happy. They're not, you know, you might still be connected with them because of children or something like that. They're not showing that to you. But there is something coming. Yeah, Queen of Cups, Empress, King of Cups, Seven of Swords, Strength. Okay, so I feel like this is what you're wanting to create. All right, this beautiful thing. There's a couple things here. This, you, I, I feel like this could have been the result of a third party. And so you only see the business relationship or you only see a very cold connection. But underneath, this is Leo, this is passionate. It was a cheating relationship, okay? Um, and I feel like, I do feel like that's causing some some pain you may not see it but you know it okay high priestess you know it you know that this is something that is um important to them or whatever and if this person let's just say if this person uh and you had a very unhealthy relationship if this person was a karmic a narcissistic partner someone who was very cold or something like that um, you could fantasize or believe that the other person is getting something different than what you got. And that could turn into pain for you because you're like, why not me? Why didn't this happen for me? All right. This relationship, I feel like definitely came from a third party situation that they were hiding. Okay. They were hiding. The Leo energy here, uh, the passion is very deep with this person. Aries, Leo, Sag. I don't see a lot of feelings. I do see happiness, though. I do see happiness. And so you got what you wanted. You wanted to move on from this relationship. But now this person seems like they're having another partner coming in. And that's upsetting. 
three of swords, seven of cups. I feel like uh, now it's like, why is this upsetting to me? I wanted to go from this. I didn't like being married to this person. I wanted to leave them behind. Why am I upset by this? Or why does this feel bad to me? Seven of Pentacles, World, Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands. Uh, it feels bad. I feel like this person's a player. A player, a narcissist, a karmic partner, a passive aggressive jerk, something like that. You wanted, right? A player. You wanted to win them over. And when that didn't work, you shoved them away. Okay? This is a, a pattern that needs to be worked on because. Yes, you did get what you wanted. You shoved them away. You were the one that walked away. I win, right? And then they move on and they have another partner. It's like, why do I feel that I want them back in my life or I'm jealous of that or something like that? Um, you wanted to win over the player. All right? You wanted that person. You wanted to be the one who, you know, slayed that beast, who was able to overcome this person's narcissism or this person's, I mean, you know, real jerk, real player, real third party kind of person. Okay. You were wanting to, uh, so what is it? Every, every woman and I, you know, to just take it with a grain of salt here, but this is a saying that my friend used to say to me, every woman wants a bad boy to be good only for them. And every, um, and so it was every good girl. Every good girl wants a bad boy to be good only for them. And every bad boy wants a good girl to be bad only for him. <laughs> okay. And take that for however it plays. If you, if you're offended by that. Okay. Um, but in this scenario, there's something to that, that you wanted this person who was exhibiting a lot of player um, coldness, whatever you wanted to win them over. And then by extension, that would show you how valuable you are, that you are worthy of love, that you are worthy. And so you're going to someone, you're like trying to get blood from a turnip. You're going to someone who's not capable of doing that. Okay. Or what they're showing you is not capable that you're not a match for them. Doesn't mean that you're not worthy of love in general. What it means is you can't go to this kind of person for love because that doesn't match what you're looking for. They don't want the same things as you do. There's a mismatch in terms of intention and in terms of what you're wanting. Okay? Okay. Uh, the link for the extended part of this read, if you want to continue on with me, is below. I'll see you over there.